students and parishioners, it is very important that we begin Lent well on the first day of Lent. We don't want to next week or a couple of weeks from now think to ourselves, I should be making a better Lent. We want to start off well right from the beginning. And when we choose penances, we want to avoid two extremes. We don't want to be too soft and afraid to do penance and just do a couple little minor sacrifices. On the other hand, we don't want to try and take on so much that after a few days we find it's too difficult and then we give it up. So think about what you can do. And remember this, the more it costs us, the better is the penance. So for you children, a lot of children give up sweets, candy, desserts, things like that. You might give up a toy that you enjoy or a game that you enjoy playing to give that up for lunch. And don't just do one thing. It should be two or three things that you do. And especially, fulfill your daily duty, be obedient to your parents, do your chores, do them promptly, etc. A very good penance. Now, why do we do penance? You could come up with a list of about seven reasons why we do penance. We do penance because we want to make up for our sins in this world rather than in purgatory. Also, by penance, we are earning graces. When we join penance to our prayers, our prayers become more powerful. Another important reason why we do penance is to subdue the flesh, to subdue and control our passions. When we do penance and sacrifice, it's easier to overcome temptation because our passions are subdued. We also do penance to prove our love for our Lord, who died for us in the cross. Another reason we do penance is to elevate our minds to spiritual things. That is written in the preface. Note the preface of the Mass today, the preface for Lent. And it mentions the fact that by doing penance, our minds are elevated and we receive virtue and reward. And that's the final thing. Every time we perform a sacrifice, we gain a higher place in heaven. Now, it's also important to remember the motive or the reason why we do penance. We don't do penance to look at someone else and think, I'm doing more penance than he is or she is. Notice in today's Gospel, our Lord talked about the Pharisees. And when they fasted, they would disfigure their faces, they would put actually powder on their faces, so they would look a little pale and wan, like they were just really suffering from their fasting. Why? Because they wanted people to think well of them. And our Lord said, they've already received the reward. But we do our penance in secret. So for your children, you tell your teacher, so your teacher approves of what you do for your penance, but you don't go telling your classmates. Because you're not looking for praise or esteem from them. You're doing it for God. And we do this for the love of God. Because during Lent, we meditate on our Lord, suffering, in his agony in the garden, being scourged and crowned with thorns, carrying his cross, dying on the cross. And we think to ourselves, why did he do that? And he did it because of his love for us. And so we do penance for love with him. We prove our love for our Lord by the sacrifices we make. Now, if you read the lives of the saints, they did not just do penance every year during Lent. They did penance throughout the year because they realized the value of it. And they loved God so much, they wanted to show their love for God and to grow in His grace. But Lent is especially a time of penance. And as I mentioned, it's so important that you start off well. If we start the season well, likely we will make a good Lent. Let us not have to regret when Easter comes around in six and a half weeks. Let us not have to regret, I didn't make a very good Lent. No, let us be able to be grateful to God for His grace and help that we did make a good Lent and that we grew spiritually this Lent. You have the ashes on your forehead. You notice that the priests receive them on the top of their heads. But you have the ashes on your forehead so that people can see it. And you're telling them two things. You're telling them three things. Number one, you're saying, I am a captain. But another thing you're saying is that I admit I am a sinner. Because the ashes is a symbol of sorrow and repentance for sin. So by having ashes on your forehead, it's like saying to the world, I admit 
I am a sinner and I need to do penance. And the third thing is just that. I am willing to do penance. By having, receiving the ashes on our forehead, we are expressing our intention that we're going to make a good Lent. That we're going to spend this Lent in fellowship, communion, with all the Catholics around the world who are doing penance at this time. So it's like a mighty army, army the church militant, crying out to God, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Today's epistle is very beautiful, and I hope you read it in your missal, from Joel the prophet. And he says right at the beginning, he says, rend your heart and not your garments. And that means that penance can't just be something external. It's not just something we do externally. The most important thing is what goes on inside. Sorrow for sin, determination to amend our lives, and to make up for the sins we have committed, and to grow in love of our Lord, who loved us so much that he died for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.